What's going on, guys, and welcome back. Junk is not dead, even after Glenn Jones going trigger happy on the nerf hammer, killing junk card after junk card. It left players leaving their Annihilus like Andy did to Woody in Toy Story. I don't want to play with you anymore. And who the hell does Andy think he is anyway? Woody's an absolute national treasure and... Anywho, today's deck, Thor's Toxic Terror, brings Junk back into the meta in a fresh new playstyle for the archetype. A deck that synergizes seemingly perfectly across all of its win conditions and card combos and is already one of my favorite decks this season and is extremely competitive. Guys, I kid you not, I've not been this excited to release a video or talk about a deck in some time. There are some weird cards in here though, so I want to break down all the different cards and the win conditions and the turn plays so that you guys can really make it easy to understand and play it yourself and you'll be loving it in no time. Let's go ahead and start with the win conditions or the win cards. The way you're going to obviously win the majority of games with the deck. Now looking at the first win card, we have a werewolf by night. Been playing a ton of him even after the nerf. Another card that people thought was dead is very much alive and well in the deck. We have tons of cheap on reveals that help our other cards it's going to build up werewolf by night extremely cheap now a good way we do that is going to be via thor and jane foster as you guys know thor is going to be an on reveal but we have mjolnir to go ahead and help us build him up for power jane's eight power and then the hammer is going to help build up not only thor but get the wolf going as well very great combo that has kind of existed since the wolf has come out uh, but it's definitely worked well in this deck and then that leads us to some of the cheap on reveals but namely the hood and of course century these are going to be great to play with annihilus and so at that we have all of these on reveal cards that we just talked about we have the wolf building up we have ways to you know swap our cards to the opponent's side with annihilus who's also an on reveal card there's so much win condition in the deck the only things we're missing is a little bit of the extra spice and let's go ahead and talk about that almost all of these are essential to the deck and what makes them extra spicy is that they most of them have a way to continue to make the deck even better and straight up win you games uh first of all we have spider ham who is just good to build up the wolf nice cheap stat line but if you hit a core card a sarah and a sarah control deck you get a free win for almost nothing right so nice to add that as a cherry on top nika minaru you know is obviously just such a good card and snap if you get her copy ability for something like Mjolnir or the destroy to draw cards and you can play that with I don't know yellow jacket another great way to really help your chances of winning and then again help the wolf build up in power uh there's more ways with yellow jacket we have ourselves a zero cost card that Jane can call into our hand use this to get the wolf bouncing to more power but then on top of this we can play yellow jacket into the hood or into the void to make that power go even more negative and then send it on over with, of course, our Annihilus. Hell, you can play that into Thor's Hammer to have a negative one card as well. So a lot of cool, unique ways to build up all of the cards that we're trying to build up. Lastly, we have Zabu, who I would argue is essential. You could float him for another option. I, I just love him here. We obviously have cards like Sentry and Werewolf. Making them cheap always feels pretty good. And that leaves us with a couple of tech options. So for the tech spots, guys, it can be just about anything. It's always dependent on the meta. Uh, Mobius and Mobius, I think, is a core piece of this deck. I'm starting to have him in just about all of my decks just because he answers. The most common play type right now in Destroy, that gives us a leg up to beat that archetype that's typically pretty good against us. Uh, but on top of that, obviously, it hurts Sarah and Ravona and just about everything out there, Loki. So very good tech card to keep as a core card. And then we have Enchantress. Now, this is going to be our flex option. You can change this out for Shang-Chi. You can change this out for, uh, albeit a lot riskier, but Shadow King. Uh, another cheap card to get the wolf up. Shadow King hurts our Thor. It hurts our wolf. So you want to be a little careful there. Uh, but it could also restore power if you needed to use Yellow Jacket. So you could go that route. Enchantress, for me, has probably felt the most solid. Uh, but Shang-Chi is always going to be, you know, just great as well. And then the wolf can hop over to the lane. So really good flex spot here. And as you guys can see, everything kind of starts working together. Now, lastly, guys, uh, next week, the reason I love this is this deck is only going to get better. We've got our Thor and we have Beta Ray Bill coming to the game. That's going to nicely go into this deck on curve, replace one of our four drops 
And now we have another card that Jane is going to love and the wolf is going to love as a cheap option. So I think this is only going to get better. It has me super stoked uh, to be playing this deck now. Start perfecting it. And then when that card comes out, it's even better. Now, lastly, let's go ahead and take a look at the turn by turn so that you guys know exactly how to play the deck. Then we'll hop into the games and you guys can see kind of how all these win conditions work in unison. Now, starting on turn one, obviously, guys, you want to play the Hood or Spider Ham or Nico if you have the right ability. Those are going to be the main play lines to get out there. Uh, I have found that kind of hiding, you can't hide it too much, but hiding your Annihilus play is typically best. Um, so, you know, if you play Hood, then Yellow Jacket, it's somewhat obvious. You want to try to keep these on reveals for the wolf if you can, but you also want to keep a nice steady curve. So it just depends on the matchup. Now, turn two, you can do any of those turn one plays uh, or just play simply Zabu. Obviously, Zabu going to help you up for the later game. Turn three is where things get a little crazy from here. And there's a couple options you can go with. The first of all, if you're playing clearly a Zabu or Ravona deck, you want to just plop down Mobius right away. If you're playing a Destroy deck, you have a couple of turns before you have to play Mobius. Uh, you just want to get it out before they can cheat death. So in that case, you almost always want to play Thor. Playing Thor, you just want to do it by turn five if you have Jane. If you don't have Jane, turn three is probably preferred in my playtesting. Uh, the earlier you can get out Werewolf by Night, typically the better. Uh, so if you did Zabu on two, playing Wolf down on three is never bad because you can just keep building him up. You don't want to play Sentry down, in my opinion. Gives him way too long to kind of fill up the right side, so I would not... Uh, play him if I were you probably this early turn four is anything I just talked about on turn three build up the wolf you can get Thor down now if you didn't and then of course this is the turn you almost always want to get Sentry down uh, as quickly as possible now turn five is usually Jane Foster if you have Thor down to get Yellow Jacket and Mjolnir to help build up the wolf uh, but this is also just a good time to get a Nihilus if you did play Sentry don't let them fill up that right lane and punch them hard snap into that they're probably going to lose. If you have Thor and Jane and then a tech card, I would snap. If you Mobius on something on a deck that they really need that energy cheat, snap. If you've got the Sentry Annihilus, snap. A lot of snap conditions here, making it easy to get two and more because they can get false confidence not knowing what you're going to play. Lastly, turn six, and this is where you make everything work together. Uh, we have a Nihilus that if you didn't play earlier, you can definitely play him now alongside something like Demon. Uh, definitely note that it's a good thing to probably keep your demon in your hand most of the time. Protect it from Killmonger. Uh, you know, if you don't identify you're playing a Killmonger deck, if they have a one drop like Nebula just out in a lane, you can play your demon early. Uh, obviously, Mjolnir is going to be played here. And then we just want to play our tech card, our answer, our Enchantress, or our Shang-Chi to just easily win out the game. Play a bunch of honor reveals to get the wolf up. Get the Thor going with the Mjolnir. Uh, or go ahead and swap the Annihilus negative cards. Play the tech card. It's pretty easy from there. And this is what leads to a ton of different wins. And that is going to be pretty much it. I know I just vomited out a ton at you guys. But I'm telling you, Junk is not dead and far from it. This deck has done awesome in my playtesting. I've gone up against the best of the best decks. And I have won. And I've gotten better as I've continued to play it. Uh, this is right now my favorite deck to play. And again, I think next or two weeks from now, it's only going to get better with new more cards coming out. Uh, there are more spicy options you can add. There are different things you can do. Uh, right now, goblins are also very hot to play, so Annihilus helps with that. Just a stupid fun deck to play, guys, but really the best way to show it is to showcase it in battle. So let's go ahead and hop into our first match. All right, Mango, we have Enchantress, Nico, Thor, and Century. Uh, we love the Nico draw, especially early. Oh my God, we can almost snap into this. I mean, it's like, do I snap now and go into Nor, or do I let him know? We're going to snap now. Screw it. We're going to play Nico into the left side here. Get one of these gins, kill it, ramp it, and draw two cards. This is busted. I I don't often turn one snap mango, but we have to. Ooh. Okay, my effect's better. We'll take it. Um, okay, we love this. Okay, so we don't have a Nihilus yet, but it doesn't really matter. I think we play like we do. So we'll play Jin down, kill them both. We could get rid of the hood, but we're going to go ahead and play the hood here to get another Jin. We're going to get a Nihilus just through the draw anyway. So let's go ahead and do just that. And 
And on top of that, we also have a werewolf that's just going to help that much more. The tough piece here. All right, let's get all of our stuff here. Oh my gosh, we overdrew. Okay, that's fine. All good. We drew a lot there. That's on me. Uh, the tough part here is do we play Thor or do we play Mobius? Both of which I think are going to be pretty good. We've got a lot of power cooked up. He obviously does too. We already have our Nihilus, so we know we have exactly what we need there. I think we go Thor into the demon here, and then we'll play the Jin left side. I barely think we need to... Yeah, we definitely need to keep it. Uh, yeah, we want to make sure we grab this, so let's go ahead and do exactly this here. We clog the hell out of this guy. Oh. Oh. My God! Face the might of Asgard. No way! I, I, I think we're fine. Believe it or not, this is insane. Props to this guy. First of all, what a play! Holy crap! It all depends on one thing and one thing only. Century, does he play? He just adds it. We are still going to win, my friends. We want to do nothing for a second. Kind of act like we're sweating it out. And then we're just going to play down Century. Doesn't matter where. He adds that over there. And then Annihilus is going to send the negative. Unless he has a way to play here, which I don't think he does, right? I think we're good. And maybe he storms and or, you know, if he's playing Legion, I, I feel like he could definitely storm potentially. He's putting the two together. Um, do we play Jane now? We would get Mjolnir, who cares? And then we would get uh, the yellow jacket. I get that Annihilus now is the way to go. I think we play Jane to act like we've got nothing. Okay, this is awesome, right? So I think we go Yellow Jacket. Uh, none of these matter, but Yellow Jacket... Annihilus. He might fill this out, though, is the only thing that we're... Like, if he storms this, he could win. Um, in which case, maybe we just play everything into this lane. Feels a little awkward, but maybe that's the way we go. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and do just that. Alrighty. Here we go. We did it. <laughs> it was awesome. There's not a lot of ways to win this if you don't have the priority. So we hit that to a negative 11 now. We play down the Annihilus. Hit the hood over there. It's a three disparity to negative nine. Junk is not dead. It is not dead. What an absolute crazy four cube game. And I am uh, I'm here for it. Mjolnir going to nothing. <laughs> what the hell? This one was definitely a unique game. I, I don't think I've come across anything like this, but uh, there you go. Four cubes in a very unique way. Jane, Enchantress, and Nihilus. Pretty bad opening hand into Mobius. Okay, good thing about this deck is you don't really need much go in the first couple turns. We got Hood. Nova Roma. And he's snapping right off the get. I guess he likes that he got the draw. Let's go ahead and uh, not play the Hodea. Let's play the Hodea here. Okay, we have a couple choices. We can go with playing the... Well, we have a lot of choices. Um, I Listen. This would be fun, but I think we can save it for another card. I think we go Mobius into Demon. Encounter Snap here. And then we have Thor next turn into Jane Thor on five. Or Sentry next turn into Annihilus. We're just going to react to what he does here. 
brutal. Brutal for this guy. <laughs> Mobius just shuts that down. So bad. Yeah, I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. All right. Um, well, I think we got to go with the um, with the Sentry play here. So let's go play Sentry. We'll go Yellow Jacket, Sentry Mid. And then we're going to be sitting at Nihilus. Over I mean, this is just like the biggest L for this guy. <laughs> I mean, the best thing he's got is an Iron Man left side 20, uh, what, not 28. There, he's got a lot of power if he plays Iron Man over there. Not so much when I play a Nihilus, though. He's going to lose a lot of space. So I love the little subtle yellow jacket there. Just to get that point down even more. Uh, I guess I could have done it on the Void if we wanted to. And then, uh, let's play... A Nihilus here. What I feel so bad about is even if you place Iron Man here, we just play Enchantress. Like, we just answer everything this guy could have done. And I feel bad because playing negative is so fun until you run against a Mobius and then it's just annoying. Like, this guy just doesn't have an advantage over us at the moment. Like, we can... <laughs> We can just hit that with Enchantress if we want to. Um, do we want to play this now? Do we want to play that now? I think we go... Yeah, I suppose why not? Let's go Thor into Zabu. Maybe we top deck Mjolnir. Doesn't matter too much. Wasn't the best play. Like, there's a couple things we could have done here. We don't really have a purpose for these other cards. Okay, okay. He Valkyries over there. Adds 15. This is just diabolical because you know he's going to hit Iron Man here, guys. So we're going to play uh, Werewolf. We're going to play Enchantress. That kills his Blue Marvel. We send our Werewolf over here. That's 6, 11, 14. And that takes him down well below 14. You know he's depending on this lane too uh, pretty badly. Um, we can't do Spider-Ham, sadly. I mean, we could do it here. Uh, but I suppose for safety, we'll do it there. And that is all she wrote, guys. She's, yeah, he's going to go Iron Man over there. He really felt like that was going to was gonna do it, folks. But uh, there, we, <laughs> there we go. This is absolutely brutal. You got to give it to him for sticking on the fight. Once you're already in four cubes, you're kind of just like, I got to go all in. Here's the Iron Man. Yeah. I am hey, Iron Man. hats off to the guy. Definitely, he, he played his heart out there. And that's going to be it, guys. Definitely a huge 8-cuber there. It just uh, a crazy, crazy counter, obviously, to the negative deck. All right, we got the leg. Definitely a good start here. Thor, Annihilus, Enchantress. Again, that Enchantress, it just could be whatever you're facing in the meta. Shadow King, Shang-Chi, those both work. Still going to do nothing yet. He's going to kill two cards. If this is destroyed, which I'm guessing it is, uh, of course it is. We're going to go with Mobius next turn for sure. Uh, it doesn't have to be next turn, I guess. It could be turn four. Oh. Okay. Oh. Let's go Thor in uh, the middle. This is swapping locations. We could actually go Thor straight to Jane, which is kind of hot. I think the Mobius might be better. Now, we got go, we got to go Thor straight to Jane. I'm going to snap back at that, too. I feel like this is definitely advantageous for us, right? Because we have two different lanes that we're looking hot in. We can play Mobius next turn. Th this just seems good. He's got the draw. He's got a lot of things going for him, but we're going to snap back on it. There's the Knoll. We're, you know, shaking in our boots. Face the might of Asgard. This is where Enchantress works out, right? I mean, I think Shung could have done probably the same thing, but this works out, huh? So we want to make sure that death doesn't land. So I'm thinking we go with uh, Mobius. These switch locations after so we can... Really, we want to play Hood over here. Um, I don't think he's playing Leash. We could hang on to Mjolnir if we want to. It's kind of a tough call because of this whole shenanigans. Because I would also kill that. But um, not yet. I think we hang on to Mjolnir. Outside being leashed, I like playing that late. And we also have... Werewolf by night. So we have a lot of things working for us. Let's ship it. Enough said, Bob. 
Okay, he's mad at us. So now we know where to play our demon. Um, yeah, dude, this is awesome, huh? I mean, this is definitely our last play. So I think we kind of shock the guy. And we play this middle. And he, like, doesn't know what to do, right? I mean, we could even hit with that. We shock him, we play that, and then we end with Enchantress and a really big play line. Like, obviously, I could Enchantress now. I just don't think that's the play. Okay. Uh, so we also have priority, which is really good for us. So we are going to win this game pretty easily. Enchantress here. So he'll have 12 unless he plays more, but I'm sure he feels pretty confident there. We'll play our one drops. And then we also have Mjolnir to, to stack into the mid there. Um, you know, we might be, maybe this is overkill a tad, possibly. So maybe we play here. Right, so we'll go Mjolnir, and then we'll play the hammer. I know we don't get as much plus, but this gives us, this gives us 13 over here. He had 12. That's just enough. And this guy's gonna be blown away. Oh my gosh, he, Victory. he fled. He was that close. He was that close. That would have been a huge play, though. Obviously, killing the Noel. We don't have Shang Chi on us, but maybe that's what he assumed we had. And uh, yeah, we we're looking pretty good. Or he could only do like one thing in one lane. All right, we got the Hood, Mobius, Enchantress, and Werewolf ready to go. We'll go ahead and play uh, the Hood here, left side, get that thing locked in, loaded. Oh, hello, Tarnix. We love that. Um, I suppose we could play Demon safely now, too. We don't know what he's got, but we could play that down. Ravona. Okay, we're hitting up Mobius for sure. And there's the vault. All right, let's go ahead and snap. We'll play down Mobius now. Invalidate that Ravona and slow down whatever he's doing. We also have Enchantress to mess him up. All right, so we're playing the Tribunal deck. We have Enchantress uh, to get rid of the Iron Man lane. Uh, I would assume that's this deck, right? It could be a couple others, but uh, we'll uh, have to see. We've got a Werewolf here. We have Thor. I'm... It kind of split decision here because, you know, if we top deck Jane, he kind of crazy. Uh, I think we're going to go with Thor, though. The right side it loses a little bit of its luster because of it being the Volt. Oh, well, Thor on turn. Yeah, we can get Werewolf going kind of crazy, but I think this is probably the play. And then we'll hang on to Spider-Ham for now. Face the might of Asgard, Mjolnir! Okay, beautiful. We know we're shutting that lane down. That is exactly why we played Jane Foster. Let's play that down now. We've already snapped, so we're looking really good. All right, interesting. He did not go with the Cosmo mid which is just wild to me but that's that's is what it is um a couple play lines we could do i'm thinking uh, this is kind of tough this is our last play we know that um i think annihilus makes a lot of sense for the clogging mechanic now you know i want to put this you know past this guy to leech or something but i believe this is what we want to do so we can go and play annihilus now and then I suppose hang on to our guys. I mean, it's there's like nine ways to play this out. I think ultimately we're going to go ahead and just in case he does something, you know, silly, we're going to go and play uh, Annihilus here and then we will play Mjolnir left side and feel pretty good about it. Maybe even Spider-Ham left side and Mjolnir here in the middle. The mystery. So we know he can't, he doesn't want to play Iron Man over there anymore. We could really hurt this guy and get rid of the Living Tribunal. That's his whole game plan. Or we get rid of Miss uh, Marvel. I think either or kind of work. We've got priority. Just depends where he's going to be playing this. 
my guess here is probably we just keep it simple. We enchantress uh, the tribunal. He would have 12. Yeah, well, honestly, probably this is the better play line, right? And then we just, what does he have? 12 over here? We could match. We get nine. He's not going to have that though because the Miss Marvel bonus is, is helping him. This feels pretty good. After he loses Miss Marvel bonus, he goes down to nine. So we could just stick this here, stick that there. This should definitely be enough. He definitely was not expecting Victory. the Miss Marvel. Hit me with the I don't believe you, and uh, there we go. I mean, again, that's Enchantress just coming up big. It's it's really tight between the, for that spot of the tech card, but you can tell, uh, obviously, this is definitely the one to be playing at the moment. All right, we got Yellow Jacket Spider Ham ready to go. Let's go and get the Spider Ham out now. We, heck, we might even want to get uh, both of these guys, right? I mean, typically, no, but let's do it. Kill the Jeff, love that. So car makes things interesting. I have to play a card, double this card's power. We're gonna hang on to Nico. If it plays her for us, that's fine. I guess we could have played down Nico and then had something else play. That's a bummer. That's not a bummer. Probably gonna snap on that, and I would assume he's probably gonna leave. Well, that is the greatest thing I've ever seen. We're gonna definitely snap on that. What the hell is that look? Because we got Storm's gone. <laughs> We're leaving that, dude. I gotta leave that game. It's too quick. That was too perfect. Dead, yeah, the Deadpool emote's the only way to sum that up. Sometimes, uh, Mr. Bitten Bro just blesses your game. He's like, hey, congrats, you win. All right, Mr. Fiddle. Um,. Well, this is going to be quite the, the play here. Let's go to get Hood down now. Maybe it plays down our demon for us. It just picks the on-curve card. Do we get screwed? Yo. That's awesome. Okay. Well, let's... Snap. We'll play down the demon now. This is probably the Galactus deck with Selene. We got Mobius as well. Let's play uh, Mr. Mobius over there. It's, it's got to be discount disrupt, right? I mean, that's what we would assume. Um, so now we've already snapped. We don't have to do much more uh, in that regards. I don't think he'll be able to ramp anywhere, but we'll play the century uh, here. And we make this guy's life, uh, it's over. We got two cubes at the very least. Maybe more. He might have a Nihilus. We have to kind of keep that prepared. I just don't... I don't know. I don't think he will. We, As long as we've got priority, we feel good. I think we just play it now. We call our losses. We also get an Enchantress the mid here. So we'll go ahead and play a Nihilus now. If he's able to send these back to us... You know, it is what it is. He's playing a very unique deck. I'll give him that. Okay, so again, he could easily send these back. Let's make sure he doesn't. Let's play uh, Enchantress here to kill uh, the Darkhawk. And then we'll just simply plug this side up with Werewolf and call it a day. This is an easy dub. Yeah, it was pretty sick play, not gonna lie. <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, what a deck, man. I give that guy a lot of credit for, uh, for the creativity. But uh, we take up another cube in a pretty unique way. And, you know, Annihilus always good to get rid of those uh, those goblins. All right, Yellow Jacket, Annihilus, Jane Foster, and Nico. After you play a card, double this card's power. Definitely not bad. We could actually get that going turn one. Uh, but I think we're going to save her for now. And 
pet mansion. So we save her so that we can draw to love this, right? Because then we can play yellow jacket. Obviously, we can't um, boost up the werewolf too much. But the draw two here is pretty crazy. The only issue, I guess, is we give her one. Is that worth it, giving her negative one? Probably. Let's go ahead and do that. So now she's zero. <laughs> okay. We got Thor, which typically, like, I don't mind the Zabu play now, but I think, I mean, Thor's good in either of these locations. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, I feel like going here is probably our best bet. Wave? Do we Jane early? I suppose so, and then we can go with like Sentry and Nihilus. Yeah, let's go and Jane early. Okay. So now we could Werewolf by Night. And play a couple cards. We have Mobius. We could do that and Zabu together. Um, if he didn't have all these cards here, I'd say Sentry is a great play. But no, not as much, right? I think... This could just be losing me the game, but I think... We go with something like this. Oh, we didn't play Mjolnir. We did get the Sentry, though. I bet you he's banking on beating that. So let's go with this. I feel like this spreads us out a fair amount. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. The leech player goes down to the junk deck and we don't even uh, finish our combo. Victory. That is what he gets, guys, for playing leech. That is what he gets. Let's go ahead and give him a little uh, little mad face. Yeah, and that's going to be it, guys. There are the games. Truly had a great time filming this thing, and that's going to be Thor's Toxic Terror. Again, guys, the deck code is down in the description below. And if you haven't, it helps a ton. 60% uh, of you guys that watch every day are not subscribed. I think it's 59% now, uh, but it would mean a lot if you just took a second to help support me as a creator. Have a good one. Have a great one. Till the next one. Happy snapping.